Good morning. I am Councilmember Peter Ku, and I'm pleased to join the to chair the Committee on Parks and Recreation. And we are joined by Council Members Adams, Rivera, Bannon, Moyer, and Orridge. Today, we will consider and vote on three important pieces of legislation. Proposed introduction number 1009-A, sponsored by Council Member Stephen Matthew, will require the Parks Department to provide an automated external defibrillator, or AED, at every large pool facility under its uh, jurisdiction, and to have at least one employee trained to use an AD, uh, AED present during all hours of pool supervision. Proposed introduction number 1042A, also sponsored by Council Member Stephen Matthew, will permit the Department of Citywide Administrative Services and Parks Department to distribute any extra AED they possess to any youth sports need after they first fulfill their obligation to provide AEDs to youth baseball and softball needs. Proposed introduction numbers 1009-A and 1040-A no, 1042-A were first considered at the Parks Committee hearing back on um, February 7. The Council has a long-standing view that AEDs play such a crucial role in saving lives that we as a city need to ensure that they are readily available at various public places where it is reasonable to make them accessible. Finally, intro number uh, 1549, sponsored by Council Member Moyer, will officially rename 126th Street between Northern Boulevard and Roosevelt Avenue in Queens, Seaver Way. This renaming is in honor of the Baseball Hall of Famer and great Max pitcher, Tom Seaver. Thank you to past committee staff, Patrick Morvihill, Monica Bojan, Bujan, and Chris Satori, and my own staff for putting together this hearing. I welcome everyone who has come to this hearing and urge my colleagues to join me in voting in favor of these three bills. Thank you. Council, uh, recorder, well, yeah. William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Parks and Recreation, Introductions 1009A, 1042A, and 1549. Items are coupled. Chair Ku. I will aye. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon. Uh, permission to explain my vote. <laughs> Chair Ku. Yes. Huh? Yes. Permission. Oh, permission granted, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to say on intro 1009, uh, there's a piece that says, if the department has any undistributed automated external defibrillators, yada, 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 I want to find out how the city plans to distribute those leftover defibrillators and if any of them would be able to go to um, private youth leagues that might be run by parochial schools or non-public schools. Otherwise, I vote aye. Moya. Permission to explain my vote? Uh, permission granted, yeah. Thank you. Uh, whether you were fortunate enough to uh, watch Tom Seaver lead the Amazings to a World Series championship in uh, 1969, or you grew up in the shadows of uh, their greatness, Queens residents have always known their ballpark was built with his right arm. Uh, it was only fitting for City Field uh, to now reside on 41 Tom Seaver Way. Uh, it is an honor uh, and a childhood dream uh, come true to uh, immortalize one of the greatest Mets of all times uh, with this street renaming. Uh, and I just want to thank my colleagues and, of course, uh, the chair uh, and all of the staff that uh, worked so hard uh, to make this happen. Uh, I'll be voting aye. Rivera. Proudly voting aye, go Mets. 
Adams. Congratulations, Councilmember Moya. Congratulations, Amazons. I vote aye. Ulrich. I vote aye. We have a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Do we have more people coming? So we will hold a meeting? Yeah. For 10 minutes? Yeah.